Um, so as an actor, I'm always sure, I always feel like there might be kind of a safety that comes with like dialogue, something you can utilize, something you can maybe sort of even weaponize to fall back on. Mm. Your character's quite internalized. And I, I just wondered if there's something even some ways, is it even more rewarding and even harder to play roles that there's quite a, a stillness and something quite uh, um, sort of um, understated about them, I suppose? Yeah, it's very interesting because I feel like silence with my characters is usually the loudest thing. Um, because there, and there is a risk that comes with words. Um, there is a risk that comes with these characters, uh, I find, when they do say what they really feel. Um, and a lot of that has to do with them being black men. Um, but, you know, there's usually a risk that comes at speaking up. Um, there's usually some kind of consequence that is given to them that shouldn't be because they decide to be honest. And so for me, I find that silence sometimes says more than words ever could. And silence doesn't mean that they fall back. Silence just means that it's very, they have to be more accurate <laughs> with where it's placed. Um, and usually it can speak for everyone in the room. Um, and so, yeah, understated is one way. Uh, oftentimes it's that sometimes the words aren't on the page for, for the feelings that uh, I possess at the time. And I don't ever want to miss an opportunity to tell the truth for them. I don't ever want to miss an opportunity to really give them a chance to feel understood. And so if it's not on the page, but the feeling is there, then I have to find a way to let that out and show that because I feel like somebody somewhere is feeling the same thing. Um, somebody somewhere in that back row is looking for a sense of understanding. And so sometimes I just feel uh, in that stillness and in that quietness, I can say more. Yeah, I, I mean, some of the words do have great meaning and power in this. I mean, when she says, I mean, Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence says to you, I just felt bad for you. My heart <laughs> went like that. <laughs> do you when remember we reading screened that, that yeah. in TIFF, I never, I will never forget this, is that when we screened it at TIFF and she said that, the entire audience went, oh, <laughs> damn. And I'm like, yeah, that's, see how words have consequence. Like, yeah. Uh, and it, it's so interesting because when I, when we were filming it, I remember, <laughs> I remember thinking, well, you have to get out of here. You have to get out of here. And the thing about James is that there's no just getting out of here. So here you have this amputee who, who knows how long it's been since he's disrobed and shown uh, someone the process of taking this leg off and submerging himself into a body of water. But there was a release that came from that. There was a kind of abandon that happened with that. And then here's this moment that happens that goes all oh, damn. And now he has to get out of there, but there's no easy way out. He has to swim to the ledge, pull himself out, put the leg back on. Do all, There was no way for him to truly escape easily. And so I was like, that says a lot. That says a lot about what this relationship is. That says a lot about what it must mean for him to be so vulnerable and to be so exposed. Yeah, it just made me feel like I was 15. You know, I, I, I just see you as a friend. Like, it's one of those that's, things. that's exactly what yeah. that relationship kind of was, yeah. right? Like you found them kind of getting back to this kind of teenage mm -hmm. Um, exploration and friendship and then it's undercut by oh wait you're not this is the reality of who you are this is what's going on there's no easy escape right and not to get sort of too deep obviously your character is is, is suffering from immense grief so I just wanted to ask I mean it's something grief is something we all struggle uh, we all have to experience in our lives and stuff and we all can kind of sh struggle with at times I just wondered about is it quite therapeutic to step into the shoes of someone else and understand their grief in a kind of roundabout way of understanding it as a whole to maybe even help yourself in, in, in real life you know the operative word is understand right because grief is so confusing it kind of leaves us kind of like bewildered and, and you know disoriented that we don't even know who we are uh, when we start it and we don't know who we'll be once we get on the other side of it. Um, but the understanding is what I want the most because it's like, you know, it's easy to judge someone uh, by how they react sometimes and how they get stuck in their grief. But once you kind of like step in their shoes and kind of see exactly what it is, it's like, oh, everyone handles grief so differently. And, and, and yes, we all have to go through it, but everyone deals with it so differently. And I think for James, what I wanted to understand was how is he going to move beyond that grief. It seems like he was kind of stuck in a certain place and I wanted to see him on the other side of it. So yeah, it did help me understand a lot about my own personal grief by going through his. I'm just very quickly before, before I do, I just wanted to ask quickly about work collaborating with Jennifer. Because when you uh, work with someone where you have these quite um, 
emotional kind of deep scenes where you're both, you know, I just wondered if now, do you always feel like you've shared something that you're always going to carry with you for, for the rest of your careers? Yeah, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> it's like, yes, uh, look, doing, doing, having a chance to play with Jennifer Lawrence, and I, and I use that term play uh, on purpose because that's truly what it was. It was like a true exploration of watching somebody who has reached such a height in her career kind of come back to the place that she started getting back to her roots, so to speak. And so to watch her get back to that sense of play was unbelievable, and, and I'm very grateful for it. I mean, she gets on my nerves, but uh, <laughs> in the best possible way. But yeah, man, it was, it was, it was truly rewarding to, to be able to play with somebody of that caliber, because she really brought it all. I thought you were both great in the film. Thank you Thank so much you. for your time. I it's appreciate nice to see you again, it. Of bro. course, man. Oh, nice to see you soon, hopefully. Yeah, Take of care. course. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!